Okay, this is kind of an exciting drill. This is probably my number one drill uh, for working for with um, kind of high level wrestlers that are ready for setups, uh, but don't really know what setups to use. So growing up, a lot of kids will score takedowns just by you know simply getting after somebody and attacking and they're nice and strong so they can take people down. Later on, you need some setups. So we, we use this drill, I call it the copycat drill. And uh, basically what you'll notice is any, sh any setup that I do, okay, my partner will also do. So right here, I'm rolling wrist, pulling head, and posting arm. Roll wrist, pull head, post arm. So I'll hit three, and then he hits three. And this is what we call the copycat drill. Basically, I'm gonna copy okay, my partner. He's gonna do three setups, I'm gonna do those same three setups. Starts working on kind of your diversity, uh, but also, like, if you're a really good wrestler working with a young wrestler, it's important that he learns to kind of copy you. It's, it's our job as wrestlers to copy the best and then kind of innovate. But um, copying their setups is one way to learn setups really well. So this drill can get really complex. Uh, but to keep, keep it kind of simple here, remember these key uh, points. You, you want to have one guy create a setup, hit three of those. And then you want to have your partner copy that same setup and he hits three as you get more advanced this can begin to look a little bit more like um, almost a live wrestling pace almost a hundred percent where it looks like a live wrestling match but really what's going on is there's still a lot of setups taking place so when the pace increases and your kids get good with the setups uh, then basically you can add in a lot of hand fighting uh, but remember, one guy does three, then the next guy does three, and then as you get better, just pick up the pace.